We vowed to end the week on a high note, and Steve Hartman found the perfect story on the road. In Lamoille County, Vermont, the fall colors are at their peak. Everywhere you look, bursts of Lucy Rogers green and Zach Mayo red, white, and blue. We don't need as much government. He's the Republican, yeah, I, I and she's the Democrat. I'm pretty centrally focused on health care. They're competing for a state house seat, aggressively competing. Both have visited or plan to visit every single home in the district, all 2,000 plus. The locals say they've never seen anything like it. They're both all in. They're out talking to people. Knocking on a lot of doors. They both want to win in the worst way. But this highly competitive race took a dramatic turn recently. It happened during their debate, when the candidates asked for a few extra minutes at the end to do something together. I'm not sure what it is. But... They stood up from their tables and began moving the furniture, <laughs> preparing for what appeared to be some kind of musical performance. But I had no idea what. Great. Even the moderator didn't know. I don't believe anybody did. Indeed. What happened at the local library that night was completely unexpected and totally unprecedented. Because we asked them if we could have a few minutes at the end to play a duet. A duet. A duet. It strikes a chord. <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. To say to the world that this is a better way. Democrat and Republican united in perfect harmony. There weren't enough tissues to go around. Very sweet and kind, and it just drew you into a different place. It marked a turning point for us. It gave me a lot of hope. It was what we really needed, what we had needed all along. The song they played that night, and for us again after, is about a deep yearning for a less competitive society. Hope you're not lonely without me. Their rendition so resonated with folks here in Northern Vermont, we actually saw houses that had signs for both candidates. A clear indication that the winner of this race has already been decided. A landslide victory for civility. Steve Hartman, on the road in Lamoille County, Vermont. That is pretty cool.